Hi everybody, welcome to Hillbilly Herpetology. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are saying, Webb, what are you doing out in the middle of the woods with plastic bags? Well, what I'm doing here is, I'm gonna be getting ready to gather up some of this gorgeous, beautiful leaf litter. We're gonna take it home. We're gonna put it in Bad Girl Prisoner Nessie's enclosure. We're gonna put it in a few other enclosures. And this is gonna be food for the isopods. There's other things we're doing out here too. This is fall collection time. The Hillbilly Herpetology way. All right, guys, here we have what is known as Dryad Saddle or Pheasant Back, and they call it that because of the patterning that it has on it. It kind of resembles a pheasant's back. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because you can see all this stuff has been eaten away at. A lot of insects like this. But one thing to note about fungus is it carries a lot of natural springtails. And so if you take this right here back and you put this in your enclosure, from it being out here in the woods, you're almost guaranteeing yourself a uh, free culture of springtails. Now beyond that, this also happens to be a delicious mushroom that you can eat yourself. Now something big like this, getting closer into where the base is, it's probably going to be a bit fibrous. So you would only want to cut the tip of this right here off and eat that where it's still soft. But all of these smaller ones up here, these are all soft and great to eat. And I'm actually going to take them with me. All right, guys, seriously, this is what you benefit from by going out to the woods any time of the year. But I love going out here in the fall. It's my favorite time. This you could go to the store. You'd see this in any nice enclosure, right? This is just a little hide for a gecko. I'm going to put it in with the crested geckos. A tarantula could, could use this very well, an arboreal tarantula. So this is good for a lot of things. The only thing I recommend against is putting this in an enclosure that's going to be super high humidity. If this thing stays super wet all the time, it's going to mold. And that's the main difference between regular wood that you get from the woods and cork bark. Cork bark is mold resistance, but it's also very expensive. Uh, this, perfect. This will work great in the Crested's enclosure. You guys will see it in future videos incorporated. And this is where I find a lot of my stuff out in the woods. Great stuff like this. Instead of going to the pet store, this would be $15 probably at the pet store. And I'm being conservative, which is crazy. So it could be more, but uh, yeah, just found it on the ground. Now, I know y'all are saying, are thinking, Webb, why didn't you bring a rake? I don't know. I, I don't think of things like this sometimes. I just, I get out there and I just have to do weird stuff to get things done. I, I don't know. But, I'm gathering leaves. Let's see what they were eating. Alright guys, you can't see it super good because I scared her back up in here. But if we can get a focus shot, this is a yellow orb weaver. I doubt the mic is picking this up, but this is a Bufo Americanus. And I love Bufo Americanus. If you hold them right, sometimes they'll chirp for you. You gotta put just the right amount of pressure. Yeah, I'm not hurting him by any means, but you guys could tell. But it's just a little trick I've found through the years. But these things are really cool. And if you guys have kids, one of the things that I recommend you do, these things are so easy to feed. Let your kid have one, put it in a 10 gallon tank with some soil, feed it some millworms, watch it eat, it'll bury itself. Uh, but they're a lot of fun. They don't give you warts, okay? But uh, yeah, Bufo Americanus or the American Toad. All right, so we just finished up our trip. We'll have one more part of this video after this where we're showing you the leaves in Nessie's enclosure and how nice it looks. But for now, this is the haul that we got. I've got plenty of mushrooms here. I can feed some of these off to animals. I can eat plenty of them. I think my family will have uh, mushrooms tonight and tomorrow for dinner. And then We've also got various bark. This bark right here is going to be great for uh, crested geckos. It'll go in the crested gecko enclosure. We got half of a bucket of walnuts over here. We've got uh, both uh, of us uh, filled up some leaves to take home for our, our collections. And I mean, 
we had fun while we were doing it is the main thing. Uh, and all of this in a matter of maybe an hour. So it really doesn't take long to do this either, guys. So uh, lots of fun doing it. You save money doing it. And when you do this, you're doing it the hillbilly way.